My name is Alexis Papahanasis. I'm a professor for tourism management specializing on cruise tourism, and I've been doing this for the last, uh, let's say, two decades. Uh, this is a short clip for you to, to help you make up your minds whether you would like to pursue a career in tourism or, or, and study, let's say, tourism management. Uh, I know it's a difficult decision, especially at those times, and especially considering the, the crisis that tourism is going through. But uh, I hope that my thoughts and some of the information I will give you here uh, might help you uh, decide and make up your minds in, 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 a, in a more rounded way. So let me start and talk a bit about what does tourism mean for the economy and um, how does it actually contribute worldwide to our prosperity. Uh, we are talking, when we're talking about tourism, we're talking about 10% of the worldwide GDP. We are talking about 1 in 11 jobs worldwide being in tourism. And this is not considering the induced and indirect impacts that tourism has on the economy as a whole and employment as in particular, especially considering the, the, the breadth and depth of the overall holiday supply chain. More importantly, it represents 7% of global exports. And yes, tourism does count as an export. It allows us to to export our culture, uh, our heritage, and our way of life without actually losing it. Moreover, it has proven over the decades as extremely resilient towards uh, all kinds of crises, and it has been particularly useful for revitalizing and jump-starting, if you will, uh, developing economies, post-industrial economies, and post-communist economies. So, as it turns out, Tourism does have a very important part to play in the global economy, and it will continue to do so. The big question now is, well, should I pursue a career in this, in this sector? Um, does it pay off? Well, to begin with, tourism, I keep telling my students that tourism is more th way more than just smiling at people. Tourism is about architecting experiences. Creating a tourism experience requires the coordination of many organizations. It requires the mobilization of diverse stakeholders and the effective utilization of a plethora of natural, human-made, and technological resources. Managing such a complex system requires a technocratic approach, but always backed from a humanistic mindset. Given the systemic complexities of tourism, which are inherent, and the crisis that we're facing now, Qualified professionals are, are required more, more than ever before in the sector. Therefore, there's a lot of potential, especially for those of you who want to study and develop your competences in this area. Does it pay off? Well, what does having a lot of money actually mean to people? People work and make a lot of money in order to be able to enjoy the good things in life and to enjoy what the world has to offer, okay? Some work for them to buy, the, to buy it, and we know that experiences and gaining experiences is the way towards happiness. Some work to make money in order to buy those, Other create them for, others create them for a living. Therefore, I would say, yes, tourism and working in tourism does pay off, and not just in money terms. Now, the big question is the future. You know, we, tourism has been faced currently with things like the COVID-19, like the climate cl crisis that we have, uh, globalization, uh, exploitation, all those negative externalities of, 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 our, of our activities as, as humans and as uh, tourism professionals in particular. Tourism does, is affected by all those challenges at the moment and has a huge role to play in terms of dealing with them as well. However, having said this, it's important for us to understand, it doesn't necessarily mean that just because there's a crisis, tourism is going to be over. Tourism is a very ancient phenomenon, and hospitality, translated as being generous and, and, and hospitable and friendly towards strangers, is deeply embedded in our cultures and even in our religions, in our religious beliefs. Um, it contributes to understanding and valuing each other. It contributes to... Uh, let's say, to being peaceful eh? and, and, and quite open towards others. So in this way, I consider tourism to be a kind of applied humanism, and therefore it has never been more relevant than now. 
So if we want to answer this question, is, is tourism an optional luxury of life? I would say, well, it's just as optional as culture itself, uh, humanism and even religion for that matter. Uh, for many, this would be considered not optional at all. No? Um, and the last question, is it coming to an end? What does that mean for my career? Am I pursuing a career that's already out of date and it's, it doesn't have a future? Well, no. Tourism is constantly transforming itself and adapting to the world it takes place within. Adaptation in itself requires will and perseverance, and this is currently what the tourism industry is facing. However, the next step, transformation, this requires competence and knowledge. Be part of the transformation, study tourism, become experienced architects, because it's not about smiling, but about creating reasons for it. So I hope all the best for you with your future plans and your future studies, and if you choose to study tourism, welcome.